Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tristate EDC again. This shirt probably looks pretty familiar because I'm doing three unboxings back to back. It's been a busy day. It's, what is it now? It's almost, it's 8 o'clock here in the Tri-State area. And we have a package from Screamin' Pirate by way of Matthew Christensen? Question mark? <laughs> So, like I said, this comes in by way of Screamin' Pirate EDC. You may know him. You may not. If you don't, I will leave links in the description for you to check out his channel and his uh, Instagram page. All good stuff. Thank you for sending this to me. And Matthew, thank you for the hookup. Now, I... Matthew Chris Christensen is uh, is be quickly becoming one of my favorite designers out there. Uh, he designed the Maverick S, which I have just fallen in love with. He designed the Thug 2 and the Thug 1 and now the Thug XL. And he, oh, he's got a fixed blade in the works with Tactile Turn or Tactile Knife Company. He's, he's a busy man. It's crazy to me. And these two little knives here are just like some of my all-time favorites as it stands. So uh, he told me he was sending me another one of his knives and I forget completely what it is what it's called so i hope <laughs> i hope there's some kind of note in this box <laughs> if not we'll we'll google it we'll do it live it's fine um i just love this knife i love this knife oh so very much maverick s made by rayot incredible oh i just ate dinner so i'm a little gassed up we got some but did i open it upside down Oh my, oh my god. Nothing left in there. Okay. Ooh, okay, so CK logo on the box. Some bubble wrap. Another knife? What the hell is all this? And another one? <laughs> what? I, okay, I'm not emotionally prepared for any of this. Let's start with the box, I guess. Dear God. Uh, really nice box. Magnetic clasp. The uh, Christensen Knife Works logo. Insignia there. Let's open her up. See what we're dealing with. Oh, wow. It's another... <laughs> it's another one of those. I gotta remember that that goes to this. So let us un... I love that his knives come with these really nice American-made pouches from... Uh, what's it called? Dragon Cut Design. Uh, they're so nice. It's such a nice little touch, you know? <gasps> Oh, uh, this is the, uh, bro, this is the Wii Thug XL. Something I didn't even know existed until Screaming Pirate put out some pictures and did a video on it. So I, I love this VB Thug. I like fell in love with this little knife and I use it to death. If you can't tell by the state of that coated blade. This is the Wii Thug XL. So it's a full size thug. Full titanium, this like brushed finish on the scales. Nice kind of bronze Wii logo there. Nice pivot collar, nice backspacer, little lanyard loop back there. Not a deep carry clip, but a, again, brushed finish titanium pocket clip. Got the CK Knife Works poking out. Let's give it a flick. Oh, that detent. Damn. All of a sudden, man. I wait. All of a sudden. Shit. I want a wee thug, man. Damn, let's look at this in size comparison because the Civivi Thug 2 here is the same size as the original Wii Thug. So there's your size comparison. Um, yeah. Kind of a big difference. Definitely an XL. This is a full size. Like, there's no two ways about it. Let me find... Do I have... Here's a PM2 for... Well, PM2 warning. It's not quite paramilitary 2 size, but I'd say para 3 size. She's bigger than the than the Thug 2 is. Or the OG Thug. Dang. Beautiful. I mean, it, they just stretched it out. I love this design so much. This is amazing. Okay. So nice contour titanium scales. Solid lockup. Weeda has been doing a baller job. Running on bearings. Detense money. Reverse flick. Thumb flick. Makes a great noise. <sighs> yeah. Damn, makes a great noise. Holy crap. 
This does say prototype on it, so I'm not sure, like, if or when this is happening. I don't know. But I'm all for it. Ergos, choke back, feel great. Uh, there's no jimping on the uh, blade spine, but it's not a big deal. You're really locked in when you choke back. You can kind of choke up, trigger pull it a little bit. It's a little sketchy. I wouldn't recommend it. Pinch grip feels amazing, which is where I live with this big American style Tonto. Just all day. American Tonto? I don't even know what to call this. Just a buck wild ass compound grinded, uh, grounded, grinded, ground, ground. Tonto? Anyway, action's amazing. Couple of shakes to shut it. Feels great. Looks great. I love this. This finish is like extended out from the handles out onto the blade. This kind of brushed finish. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is CPM 20 CV on this. I'm not, I'm assuming that's what we is like, likes to use. So uh, I'm assuming that's what will be on the final production version. But man, oh man. Whew. We ought to cut something with it real quick. Got the phone book here. Money. Money. Is this a hollow grind too? Hollow grind on the uh, flat section of the blade here. And a, and a nice thick flat grind at the uh, secondary edge. Cutting performance is money. A little bit of, little bit of, maybe just needs a, a little touch on the strop. Just a little touch. I'm assuming uh, Screaming Pirate's been using it, but that's okay. And I'm assuming it's been getting kicked around a lot lately. I'm sure Factory Fresh, this was just unreal. You know what? Let me get different phone book paper. This new phone book. I don't like the way it cuts. Cuts weird. Let's try the old phone book. Much better. Isn't that funny how that works? Yeah, cutting performance is money. No concerns there. Um, I will clean up that edge before I do the final and full review. Just, I'm not gonna, I promise, Matt, I'm not gonna mess it up. Just gonna, just gonna touch it. Just gonna touch it up a little bit. Like I said, lockup's killer running on bearings. I'm all for it. I don't care how much this is, I want one. <laughs> end of, end of conversation on that one. And we have two others to look at, so let's pull those out. Let me make sure I remember that this one is the... Thug XL. I will have to post it note these. Beautiful. Let's go to the other guy here. Let's put that aside. And I don't know what this is. It's another one. Whoa, it's another one. <laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> so this is the full tie with that brushed finish. And this is the Thug XL, the Sabivi Thug XL. With the brush finish on the clip side and the carbon fiber on the show side. Beautiful carbon fiber scale. Oh, action's just as good. Whoa! I mean, dual wielding? Dare I? Dare I dual wield Matthew Christensen prototypes? <laughs> oh, I feel so... Oh, I feel so powerful. Oh, I feel so powerful right now, Matthew. What have you done to me? These are gorgeous. I had no idea these were coming legitimately. Um, thank you for sending me. These are gorgeous. I'm so pumped there's an XL version. That's like my only thing with the Thug 2 and the OG Thug is that it's just a little too small to be my primary carry, even though I would be more than happy having this as a primary carry. This little thing's a tank. But now, full size, full length blade, Chef's kiss. Uh, not the full review on these. I will get a full review on these out. Hopefully before they come out. Kind of get ahead of the curve on those. So sick. Thank you so much for sending those to me. And then we have another one. Is it another version? Is it, an, is it another one? What is this? Oh, hot damn. Oh, hot damn, dude. Oh, hot damn. I should have known this was coming. Holy shit. You guys have been asking and asking and asking about this on the live stream. This is the Kraken. This is the Alliance Designs. Matthew Christensen Kraken. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. 
Deep breaths. Deep breaths, Tri-State. We will make it through this together. Oh, man. Uh, we've been begging for this one. Uh, waiting and waiting and waiting. First off, Zerk Act, not Zerk, uh, Zerkutai or Timascus Accents, uh, Pivot Collar and Clip. Stunning Pivot Collar on both sides. Got this nice decorative uh, thumb disc. The nice knurling around the edges there. Look at that blade just tucks in perfectly. Hint of the Alliance Designs logo peeking out. Nice carbon fiber overlay. Yeah, an overlay, not an inlay. It is a bolster lock. Full titanium carbon fiber overlays. Nice jimping on the uh, backspacer here. Oof. M390 peeking out. Let's open it. Oh my god. Let's... I, I want to be careful. Like all Alliance Designs knives, I'm assuming this is Rayot made. And it shows. You can just tell by their belt satin finish. Deep hollow grind on that Tonto. Very elongated secondary edge with a nice hardy flat grind once again. Big beautiful swedge up here. Ergos in hand. Beautiful. Nice contouring around the edges here. Everything's really soft. Nicely knocked down. That feels so great. Choke back. Thumb out on the disc. You can kind of choke up. Trigger pull it right here just a little bit. That feels okay. Pinch grip. All day long. Right here you nestle into that little nook right there. All day long. Look at this thing. Ah! Ah! I'll use my new Forrest Hank that I got for my birthday. Thank you, Forrest. Thank you, sweetheart. My wife had those commissioned. Beauty. Damn, dude. I have so many Alliance Designs knives kicking around this office. I gotta get busy. Absolutely stunning. We've been looking at the pictures like once a week <laughs> on the live stream. And I am not disappointed at... Oh my god. Having it... Oh my god. Having it in person. Action. Reverse flick. D oh my goodness. Dude, the drop... That is baller action, man. Wow. Rayot. Damn, boy. Get it. I don't have anything to say, dude. That action is perfect. Detent for the thumb flick. Perfect. Reverse flick's perfect. Like, running on bearings. Ceramic bearings. Ceramic detent ball. Looks like T8s across the board. Very minimal hardware. Ooh. Man, that action's good. Holy shit. Let's cut something with the Kraken. We'll just reduce, reuse, recycle here. Bust out the old half-used piece of foam book paper. Nice. Like I said, nice deep hollow on the flat. And then the secondary edge has a nice thick flat grind. Oh. Yeah. All day. <laughs> All day, dude. All day. It's what this thing was made to do. I believe these are coming soon. I mean, I know they're coming soon. When they're coming, I don't know. Um, luckily, it's Alliance Designs, and they tend to do drops and not pre-orders. So when they're available, you will have them. You will have them to purchase, and they will be available to ship. Uh, and after talking to Eden, uh, the man behind Alliance Designs, and handling several of his knives, uh, including one of these, and uh, the new e whoops, the new Easy E prototype as well, and now the Kraken prototype, yeah, they're killing the game. Uh, and I could not think of a more perfect partnership than with Matthew Christensen. So, hot damn, three spicy hot Matthew Christensen prototypes, two Thug XLs, and a Kraken to go along with my, let's zoom out, to go along with my Maverick S and my CBV Thug 2. The Matthew Christensen family's growing around here, let me tell you. Really pumped for the Wii XLs. Those are so sick. And just over the moon pumped for that Kraken. What a lineup. Super pumped. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Screaming Pirate, you sweet man. Again, links for both of these gentlemen in the description. Please check them out. And also Alliance Designs and Wii down there. If you don't know who they are for some reason, definitely check them out. Thank you so much, Matt. Uh, these are not full reviews. Once again, just unboxings, first impressions. Uh, first impressions are dynamite. Okay? It's as simple as that, really. If I'm being perfectly honest. But, uh, that is it for me. Until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now. Uh -huh.